Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and prominently. I call in only the appearance of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. Okay. Oh, I, huh. Lord have mercy. As I have said, so shall it be. The judgment is final. Listen here, people. It is too early for all these shut up spells. <laughs> Let us do our work. <laughs> What the heck was that? I've never had a problem with saying my prayer. What it is? What, what, what's going on here? Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this reading. You have a queen of pentacles that is trapped in her mind. This woman, when this eight of swords came out, a sister is unsure how she feels. It says she wants to come out and act like everything is okay, but a sister is still going through a rough time behind the scenes trying to defeat someone, but she's not able to. There's something where it's like a queen of pentacles in someone's life. I don't know if this is someone's wife, someone's girlfriend, someone's mother. I'm going to assume that this is somebody's wife. Okay. Or it could just be someone's girlfriend that is absolutely determined to take somebody down. It's actually like in competition with you for something that you're probably not even interested in, not aware of. It's like someone is in competition with you for something that you don't even know about. This could have to do with a masculine. This woman could be working with a king of swords behind the scenes. Yeah, she is absolutely working with a king of swords behind the scenes to block some type of offer from coming into you. Absolutely. This is an offer you've been choosing by someone as their love interest. So she may want to send this king of swords in to cause you some type of illusion and have you taken out so that she can ensure her victory. Or she may be trying to ensure some type of victory for her daughter who will be a queen of wands. These two have been popping up a lot in my readings. It's like they're trying to ensure their victory so they can put an end to some type of toxic uh, cycle that they put themselves in. So it's like... Uh, a mother and daughter, a friend, two friends. I don't know what this is, but these two have been coming up a lot. The queen of pentacles and the queen of wands. You could very well be up against two women that you're not aware of. It's like two witches trying to prove their powers, but they don't have any powers when it comes to you. They have to do a lot of manipulations and work with other people behind the scenes. You know you're not gifted or talented or skilled or anything when you have to work with other people behind the scenes to take care of someone. Make it make sense. If you have to partner up, Tell a lot of lies, do a lot of manipulations. You're probably not gifted. You got to stop pretending to be gifted. Okay. There could be something where, I don't know if there's a lot of money on the line or something like that. Or this, yeah, it's something has to do with money. She's working with this king of swords to do something, to set someone up, to block someone and someone. Right. Um, and he's now starting to see, to see things from a higher perspective someone has foresight they have a higher understanding of what is going on when it comes to this queen of pentacles causing illusions trying to deceive his options and things like that trying to have him make some type of decisions that's going to lead to some type of disappointment if he comes in and gives an offer telling him to go for it just so he can martyr himself it's something there's some type of mental game this woman is playing. It's that she's trying to make it look like she's working with this man, but she's really working against him. So that something can pan out in her favor. It's like, it's like playing devil's advocate. I don't even know if this is devil's advocate. This is like some type of manipulation at a different kind of level. So he does not know that this woman is working against him, but he's working with her to take someone else down and it's going to lead to disappointment. So he may be picking up on picking up on something like there's hints and things like that. She may not know that maybe he knows what it is that she's trying to do or that he has caught up to her. Caught on to her, excuse me. And he's starting to think now. Is that, wh wh why the heck is she this set on taking someone down? That ain't paying her no mind. Why is she this set on lying, smearing someone's character? 
does she really think I don't know what it is that she's doing? So he may be guarded towards it towards this woman now. It's like I don't want to be part of that. I don't told you I don't want to be a part of it. So they had it has her worry, it has her burden. It says someone is desperate out here trying to find someone to work with her, and everyone is refusing an offer from her. This could have to do with some type of ace of pentacles offer. She's trying to ensure her future, but the way she's going by it to ensure her future is not exactly really diplomatic. She is absolutely trying to get people to work with her, but they are refusing to work with her. It's like, no, we don't want to work with you. There could be someone could be telling people behind the scenes, hey, if she calls you, don't answer. If she texts you, don't answer. If she emails you, don't answer. If she comes to your house, leave her out there. Act like you're not home. There's something where it's that people don't want to work with this woman anymore. There could be an emperor taking action to balance something out, moving on with his life because he sees the truth. He has clarity now about a karmic group, right? Um, so I don't know how aware this woman is that people are all uh, in the know about all of the betrayals that she has done to them. Like this woman has betrayed literally everybody that she's been working with to ensure some type of victory for herself and whoever this queen of wands is. And I keep feeling like the two of them work together, but people don't know that. And this may be a situation where this king of swords may be in denial that these two women work together. So he's going to have to sit and think is a kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, like they don't want it coming out. Sir, if you're not aware, they're working together. Thank you. It's a yes. It's a yes. These two women are working together. So whoever you are, King of Swords, trying to figure out if two women are working together against you and against someone else, they are. It's a big yes. It's another yes. I'm telling you, it's a yes. They are working together against you and other people trying to ensure some type of victory or success for them. Like they want something going to them. They may have been cooperating or setting up some type of scenario where someone gets locked up. Someone has some type of legal uh, charges coming towards them so that they could have a feminine energy block or a masculine energy block or locked up or something. So then if that person is locked up or set up for lying, stealing or something like that, something goes to her or something goes to the queen of wands. But at the end of the day, this is a big yes. This is clarity for you, sir. At the end of the day, whether the offer goes to the Queen of Pentacles or the Queen of Wands, both of them still what benefit because they're in on it. So, sir, if you didn't know before, you need to start thinking highly and put an end to this collaboration you have with this woman because she is absolutely setting you up. She is absolutely worried about you knowing the truth. You self-actualizing. I'm telling you, you figure something out. You don't want to work with this woman anymore. You thought about it. You said, uh, nah, something here in milk in the buttermilk. I don't want to be what in this nonsense anymore. I'm putting an end to it because I know the truth. I want to take my offer somewhere else. I want to have a brand new passionate beginning somewhere else. I don't want to be part of this nonsense. So this is what's going on behind the scenes. This woman, that means that she is desperate now to find someone to work with her because she's trying to ensure some type of Ten of Pentacles offer with someone or this is how she thinks that she's going to secure her bag. She sees this as what her manifesting a new reality for herself. But this is not how you go about manifesting things for yourself. There are long lasting things that are worthwhile because the way she's going about it is not authentic. It's not uh, uh, something that's based on morale is not ethical. This is not someone that cares about ethics. This is not someone that gives two hits about anyone. She will step on anyone to get where it is that she wants to get to. If you're getting in the way of her money, she don't mind taking care of you. So even if she has to set you up, she don't mind doing that. The people that she's crossing, I don't think she realizes is about to bite her in the behind. Okay, they're about to be taking actions to balance things out in their lives. I'm telling you, and she's she's about to be out here looking like a goddamn fool because nobody wants to work with her. About to be out here embarrassed because people know she's been causing illusions and things like that. So whatever this is, if she was if she was in a relationship with this man. With this king of swords, it's over. He don't want to be uh, associated with her. This could even be something that he does not want out in the public. And it has her stuck in her mind, trapped in her mind. I keep seeing a woman that's desperate to be affiliated with a man, to keep 
he pulled off a man or something like that. And again, this could be a mother and a daughter, or this could be two women that are up against you for a masculine that you don't know nothing about. You may not even be aware of this competition, or this could have to do with some type of Ace of Pentacles offer, but it's destined for you, divine being. So it's that like you need to just mind your business, stay in your lane, because I don't even think you are participating in this nonsense. Let them keep competing for something they'll never have. It's what I'm tell being told to say. I'm telling you, this man does not want to work with this woman to betray someone. He said, no, nah, I don't want to be part of that. I'm too grown for this stuff. Okay. Like someone, I don't know if he's like doing introspection now with this uh, three of wands out here. Someone is doing something where it's like before he takes actions now against someone or with a group of people or with this woman, he's starting to introspect. He said, uh, something is not right. Like we've been doing this for a long time and it's just not right. So he's starting to balance things out. He may be separating himself from this woman and whoever else. Yes, absolutely. He's moving on. Someone has found the strength to move on with their life. Maybe giving her a piece of his mind and telling her, right? Uh-uh, stay over there. I'll stay over here. You know, you want to keep going, that's your business, but I'm going to keep my business over here. So if she wants to keep going forward, that's on her. But whatever it is she thinks she's doing, it's not going to go against two people. This could have to do with blocking two people coming together. So whatever it is she thinks she's doing, it's not blocking them. Because, well, honey, the wheel is still moving forward. These two are still coming together. This is karma being balanced out. So I don't know what it is this woman thinks she's doing. Someone is desperate out here to keep a man. Someone may be desperate out here to keep a man in her, her daughter's life. This could be a mother-daughter duo, best friends duo. I don't know what this is, but... Just know that whoever you are trying to block from coming into either a masculine's life or a feminine energy's life, he knows, she knows where they are. They're watching. They know that people are tempering with this person. There could be like a higher fan going through some type of ending as well. This will not be a higher fan that's in the upright. This is a higher fan that uh, operates from their lower energy. But this is going to be absolutely essential. Yeah, this is a higher fan that operates from their lower energy. But this is someone that is going through some type of awakening or some type of humbling experience by the universe so that they can come out and actually be genuine and authentic with their spirituality. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> this man, collective, you're a queen of wands. <laughs> ah, that brother said, I don't thought about it. I don't want to work with you no more. Nah, I am betraying her. She didn't do nothing to me. You lied to us. You've been lying to us, pretending to be something you're not. You've been trying to set us up in things like that, things like that, and getting us involved in things that don't even make no sense. He said he's not working with her. He said, no, nah, I'm not doing it. I'm not betraying her. I'm not. I don't know if they tried to get him to sue someone for something or tell a lie on someone. Whatever this is, this man said he don't want to be a part of it because he's seeing things from a higher perspective. They were trying to steal from someone to cause you a heartbreak. So I don't know if this has to do with that, like your work. Maybe you work for a kink of source. Or uh, maybe you are affiliated with a kink of source in some way, shape, or form. This had to do with some type of court case. Maybe they wanted this man suing you for something and you're not aware of what has been going on. This would have been a setup. This would have been something very bogus, but they would have set it up in a way where it made it look like you actually did something. I don't know what this is, um, but he does not want to be a part of it anymore. With you showing up as the queen of wands, it could mean that this man may see you as someone that's very beautiful, very hardworking, or something. Something like that. Uh, so there's something about loyalty in here. Yeah, he finds you to be very hardworking and a bit of a recluse. It's like you're someone that keeps to yourself. I don't think you are afraid because you're coming up in this energy, this night of source energy. So I think he finds you to be very beautiful, very brave. The fact that you're standing up for yourself in whatever way or form you're doing this. Um, but just know that it's a king of swords that's kind of walking away. He said, like, nah, I don't want to be a, uh -uh. he said, uh-uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I don't want to be part of this. I'm choosing to balance things out in my life. He's having a brand new beginning, like a fresh start somewhere else. Success, right? Maybe he's, maybe he don't met him a queen of cups and he said, you know what, queen of cups, I want to talk to you, something like that. Maybe he's in love or maybe he's, he's, you know, paying attention to things now and just paying attention to his dreams, putting efforts into things that matter to him now. But this whole setup, whatever this is, and he don't want to be part of it. Okay, but this woman is absolute like someone is mastering themselves, may even 
see you to be someone that's like a higher level companion soulmate i don't know what this is but someone thinks very highly of you may want to work with you yeah someone may want to collaborate with you uh at some time down the line but whoever this queen of pentacles is this woman is a brute. She is relentless. Even though this man has said that he does not want to work with her and he wants to, you know, go on and have a fresh start somewhere else. He wants to live in his authenticity. He wants to do what's right, live in the upright. She's still going to be, de she's still going to be determined. Like he's taking a new path in life. She's still going to be determined about what causing conflict. So she's still, I'm telling you, this woman is determined to cause conflict in some type of union that's supposed to be coming together. She's trying to steal and cause disappointments and things like that to possibly a king of wands that may have rejected her. I think this is a king of wands that's looking or has his eyes on a, a woman of high honor, someone that's privileged, or this is your future, but this is how he sees you as someone that's of high honor and you could end up being very influential and in the public eye. You're very gifted and in the upright. You may have some, some type of manifestation manifestation ability skills that you've mastered yeah you've mastered manifestation and you've mastered the the, the art of boom bringing an ending calling truths not even truths like this that like you have some type of ability to put things to an end okay and this king of wands could be watching you and he thinks very highly of you and then you have the king of swords that's just choosing to maybe Maybe he's choosing to move on. Maybe he's coming towards you to communicate with you and bring something to your attention because he knows now that you are someone that's in the upright. So he's choosing to walk away, right? Because he has clarity about you. You are going to be very influential. He may be bringing you some type of news about some type of ten, ten of pentacles situation, or maybe he wants to work with you uh, and manifest some type of ten of pentacles situation. Like you may have a few, uh, offers coming towards you and you don't know this um, because you live in your own little bubble and you're not bothered or worried about what these toxic karmic women are out here trying to do it's like you have a bunch of women i don't know what this is it's like you have a woman that's just determined to prove that she's something that she's not and i don't think she realizes that the facade is not working people can see right through her so it's that you walk, walk, wake up every day embarrassing yourself and you don't know people know the truth about what it is you've been doing so there could be a woman in a community that's embarrassing herself and she doesn't know that people know what it is she's up to behind the scenes um yeah, people know and they're balancing things out. They may be rejecting her offer. They don't want to work with her anymore. And she's probably like going door to door. Basically, this, she's a door to door salesman when it comes to trying to end someone. He said, I'm here to see if you'll please help me take this star seed down. Are you willing to work with me, please? I am begging you. You're my last hope. Boom. Door short. Shutting her face. I'm here to see if you'll help me take this star seed down. I'm I'm begging you. You're my last hope to take this, this star seed down to get this done. Boom. Door shutting her face. Like this woman is persistent. Someone is very persistent. And she says she's going to keep going no matter what. So she don't plan on stopping no time soon. But it's okay. She can keep going because you're still going to have your new beginning. Okay. She's not able to stop you. You're still going to have your new beginning. Someone does not even know how it is you're about to have this new beginning. She's been working time and time again relentlessly behind the scenes to block any type of offer from coming to you. Someone wanted you isolated. I see something where it's like a group of people got together. They were trying to get either a masculine or a feminine caught up in something illegal so that you didn't have options to go anywhere, that you will be trapped in some type of organization or some type of horrendous situation where you will be at the mercy of these people, especially this queen of pentacles, that someone is very overbearing and she has been doing things to people for a long long time and she's been used to getting away with it and people are starting to wake up and see the truth about who this woman is but she does not realize that people see the truth about her so the mask that she has on that she's always had on she still thinks is there but it's like no 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 we are awakening now You've been telling us blase blase for 10 years. We see it's not blase blase. It's, 
you know, abracadabra these days. So we're going to need you to fix it. You don't want to fix it. That's okay. You stay over there in Blasi Blasi land. But we are over here in abracadabra land and calling changes in our lives, taking charge of our destinies. And we don't got time for your foolery. So you need to stay over there until you fix the situation. If you ain't willing to fix the situation, you stay right there in your chaos alone. So a sister is having a hard time finding alliances she's oh she's she's calling i'm telling you she's calling she's texting all kinds of stuff emailing did you get my last message i sent you i've emailed you three times now burden working hard to get people to work with her did you get my my voicemail i've called you four times did you get my text messages oh a sister is working hard 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 you know, there's some type of embarrassment that's going on. You know, someone commit themselves to slandering and tearing down another person for so long and people are believing it only for the truth to come out. I'm telling you, this woman is trapped in her mind. She's in some type of mental imprisonment. Like someone is losing it behind the scenes because you are having some type of offer coming in. It could be an offer of friendship, something that's going to start off real small and then manifest into something really abundant. You could have an emperor that's coming in to give you an offer and it's going to lead to something really solid in life for you you will have wish fulfillment and then it's going to lead to a love offer right and he is planning on coming in and talking to you that'll happen in divine timing but you also there's something where you have a queen of wands behind the scenes you are a queen of wands she's a queen of wands she may want to come in and give you some type of friendship offer you don't need an offer from this woman because this is someone that is absolutely toxic was working with a group of people um behind the scenes against you the star energy may have told people that you were of a dark background dark origin told people that you may be a thief you're very sneaky you're malicious and blah 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 did not want people seeing you as wish fulfillment they didn't want you getting wish fulfillment in life and people are finding out that this woman is a liar yeah she's a bull-faced liar okay been lying about a woman of high honor that is spiritually gifted and intuitive trying to block the forward movement but they're still having victory and going for the things that they want in life she wants to come to worship because you will be receiving some type of communication in regards to a ten of pentacles right that you have manifested due to your strength to keep going while people were out here doing things to you to end your forward movement but your confidence it's a problem for these people. <laughs> you keep investing. Like you keep investing in yourself regardless of what these people are doing to keep you in fear, to have you weighed down, to temper with justice, to put an end to your what? Your new beginnings to defeat you, but you defeated all of your enemies with the hand, with the help of your ancestors by judgment of your uh, of the spirit realm and you will have wish fulfillment. And they can be mad mad mad. Nobody care, cares, cares, okay? So what this woman is doing is coming in to give you some type of disingenuine friendship with this eight of swords on top of this knight of cups. This is something she's stuck in her mind about doing. She said, is she going to see right through me? I don't know if I should go. Is she going to accept my friendship? Is she going to know I'm disingenuine? There's ulterior motive to this friendship I'm giving her. Is she going to see right through me? You do know you're going to a high priestess, man or woman, right? They see right through you before you take that step. She does want to come towards you to give you an offer. Wants you to remember that either if this is someone from your past that you two were friends before, right? And she knows that you are very genuine. You are a healer and she's sorry for what it is she did to you. Blah, 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 blah. If this is a woman that was competing with you for your destiny, what it is she's doing is reaching out to you so that she can apologize to look like the bigger person. But people are going to see right through this nonsense. I'm telling you, people know exactly why it is she's coming towards you. It's to cause illusion because someone mental is not where it's supposed to be. She's unstable. So there's some type of uh, conniving scenario that she has come up, come up with in her mind 
um, that if she takes the initiative and comes towards you to apologize, to mend things with you, uh, to show that she is being the bigger person, that something is going to go in her favor. It's not going to go in your favor. You know what? Know why? Because what it is you're trying to take is not meant for you. This is someone trying to force herself to be in some type of feel, be with someone that is not destined for her. The feel is not for her. The work opportunity is not for her. The person is not for her. Nothing is for her. This is when you have a, a, a delusional mindset when you don't live in your truth and don't know who you are don't know your purpose in life refuse to find your purpose in life so you're out here trying to take other people's destinies from them you cannot have it you cannot have someone's destiny okay and you're going to be left out in the cold absolutely you're going to be left out in the cold you're being rejected this is what they've been wanting for you by the way is for you to be left out in the cold you're not you're being uh given abundance you are abundant you may be getting married sometimes in the near future some of you don't know that they wanted you to be seen as someone uh in balance it's not, it, it seems that you're someone in the upright very high moral standards being supported by your ancestors and maybe there are people behind the scenes that you're not aware of that are supporting you and this is causing conflict because then it's hindering what options these people are coming up with the tricks and things like that are coming up with on how they can take you down this is causing a burden from them for them behind the scenes causing a burden for an emperor behind the scenes this will be like an emperor in the reverse because it's like if people are supporting you how is he supposed to take you down why are you trying to take down a feminine energy why are you battling a feminine energy? You may have a king of wands that's mastering himself behind closed doors, which is how it's always supposed to go. Someone is becoming an ascendant master and there will be a divine meeting between the two of you in divine timing. You and this person are uh, soul twins, right? You have a contract together. So he's doing the work behind the scenes to heal so that you two can have this fresh start together. He has made a decision that, that you or his wish fulfillment he is going to live as a bachelor not be out here giving his backpack to everybody so that he can have this new beginning in life be careful though because there's something about this man mental i don't know if this is the king of wands i put i picked up on a while back where it's like he was still determined to come in and uh, uh defeat someone is that um i've always been able to conquer women because you see women at a, as a mountain right so uh, hopefully he's doing the right thing and actually healing instead of trying to set up some type of scenario where he comes and gets into your energy lip winds you dines you and then dump you or something like that but i think this man is trying to put an end to some type of uh chapter so he can live in the upright Okay, so he may be keeping his distance from people and putting in a lot of work to what uh, build his confidence, listen to his intuition, get in tune with his intuition and live in his truth so that he can have this brand new passionate beginning. So he is keeping away from people that like he's stuck in some type of remorse right now is what I what I'm hearing. He's stuck in some type of remorse right now, like heartbreak or something, because he may have given this offer to the wrong person before or maybe he rejected you before there's something like that but he's moving on which is causing a tower for these people for these organizations or whatever this is i don't know if this is for a person an organization it could be either or a lot of you are in different scenarios but he is absolutely leaving an organization to bring balance in his life this is his justice that he is manifesting i'm telling you manifesting for himself this is his good karma that he's asking the universe to give him give him is that hey i'm gonna co-create with you i'm gonna put in the work i'm gonna put away my toxic uh um behaviors i'm gonna put an end to that it's very hard it's gonna take a while but i do want to so that i can have either a relationship with this empress and have a new beginning living in truth and all of that being genuine taking charge of my life and things like that and investing right in higher knowledge manifesting a new reality for myself i'm going to be strong and walk away from the things that no longer serve me so that i can live in truth and clarity even though i know i'm going to have to go through a lot of endings it's okay this is going to help me master myself and i know that you all are supporting me so that i can become the highest version of myself right 
and be an emperor. So everything this man is doing for himself, which is absolutely beautiful, is causing chaos and conflict behind the scenes amongst these people. And that's when you know people don't really support you when you are willing to put I'm telling you, walk away from toxicity so that you can put an end to all of this uh, misery that you're going through. But people want you to see as see it as fulfillment. It says like someone has been living some type of lifestyle for a long time and it's not fulfilling, but they want him to keep staying in toxicity because it maybe benefits them in some way, shape, or form. I keep hearing someone saying, don't leave us behind. Maybe they're saying it mentally, but not saying it verbally to him. Man, that brother is gone. He's keeping away from them. There's something where it's that someone is just stuck. I don't know if like their emotions are all over the place or whatever this is about a ace of pentacles coming to a queen of swords that's in the upright. They said, no, she can't have this offer. You all got to help me so that I can defeat this person. I don't want them having good karma. I don't want to see them happy. I don't want people to see them as a healer. I don't want them receiving this commitment. There's something about a job position that's going to be going to someone. Like you're going to be receiving some type of promotion in life or raise or something. And this has been based on merit because you've done the work to receive this uh, uh, offer in life. And this is something that's coming from the universe. Okay?